Hey guys, I want to talk about a really important piece of test equipment, which is a constant current electronic load. Yeah, that's a mouthful. At least that's what your mom said. Um, <laughs> all right, so this thing is pretty much, as I said, it's an electronic load. It's a dummy load. What this does is produces a constant current electronic pull that you can use to discharge a battery. And this is a really useful thing to have because it allows you to, number one, check the capacity of your batteries, but number two, to check and see how they do at different amperage. So, for example, this uh, particular model can go between zero and three amps. So you can check a battery from 0.5 amps or 0.7, 1, 1.5, or even three. And it allows you to have a good idea of how these batteries perform. And especially when you have old batteries or maybe batteries you've abused a little bit, it's nice to be able to check on them and see how they're doing over time. So this thing's a pretty simple unit. It's about 12 bucks. You're definitely going to want one of these four wire battery holders, which are also about 10 bucks. You're going to need this uh, USB to TTY cable, TTL cable. It's because this thing uses one of these uh, funky, uh, I think it's micro USB, micro or mini, I can't remember which it is, but it's that old style one that you're going to need. Now you can just use a regular cable, but what this uh, special cable does, it allows you to hook this up to a computer directly through USB, and you can actually make plots and graphs using the software called EB Blaster of how your batteries perform. Really cool. Software works great, believe it or not. I downloaded it, it works great. Done quite a few graphs on these things and been super, super thrilled. So we're going to plug this thing in, show you how it works real quick. And we're also going to put links in the description on where to get all this stuff. You can get it multiple places, but I'll put a few links for you guys so you can see. It's a really expensive, fun, you know, DIY thing to kind of play around with. So this is going to turn on. You can see the battery readout here. This battery is not fully charged. Um, you can see your amps, voltage, all that. Hold down will let you change the settings. And see here, now we have our amps, which are at 3, which is where I want it. Uh, this right button will let you cycle through. Now we're on volts. We'll change that to 2.45. It's at 2.35 now. The left button will bring that up. So you can see now it's at 2.45 volts. This is the uh, cutoff voltage. This is when this unit is going to stop working. That way you don't over discharge batteries. That can be set from anywhere from like 5 volts all the way down to pretty much zero. So it's a really cool option for this particular unit. Because if you are doing alkaline batteries, you can drain them to zero. But if you do have an unprotected lithium ion battery, you can set it to two and a half or whatever for safety sake. So, long press that button in again. We'll lock it in place. Your right button turns on. You can see the LED comes on and the fan turns on. And it will cycle through between voltage and we'll just hit the button, amps, and your capacity. So, really cool. Um, this thing is super handy when it comes to testing batteries. One thing I found is that battery quality can vary dramatically. And a lot of these batteries do very good at one amp, but once you discharge them above one amp, you run into trouble. So it's really good. It gives you a better idea of how good your batteries are at higher amps. Cause a lot of the modern flashlights out there do pull, you know, two and three amps. So that is very, very handy. It does, uh, a great job and plus like I said you have that capability to put all your output in graph format directly which is great amazing little piece of equipment it will let you check your old batteries abused batteries new batteries there's a lot of counterfeits on the market it can really be helpful in determining what's quality versus what not you know maybe you're buying off-brand batteries maybe you're buying cheaper rechargeable nickel metal hydrides this will let you see if you're getting your money's worth Keep track of your batteries. Keep track of what's going on. Once again, cheap batteries can degrade very quickly over time. So this will let you keep track of that. And a lot of the chargers on the market, the Opus and all that that are out there, they're really good, but they limit you to one amp. This lets you go above and beyond that and also gives you that capability to output to a uh, computer, which is awesome. So that's it. Simple as they come, guys. Very easy to use, small, portable like $25 investment total, no complaints here, very happy, and uh, 
you have questions, feel free to ask. I will uh, put links to everything you can and uh, hopefully put some links to some uh, articles about this. So if you want to read a little bit more about it and not sit and listen to my annoying voice, you can do that. So hope you guys enjoyed.